What's going on, Turner fam? And if you want to catch more crappy, hit the like button in the next five seconds or you ain't gonna catch no more. Ha <laughs> ha! What's going on, guys? So, today, I'm gonna go try to catch me a limit. And I'm gonna try to give general tips as I fish. Hope y'all can learn something. So if you can't smash that like button, if you ain't subscribed, hit that little red button in the bell beside it so you'll be notified whenever I upload. Appreciate it all, love you. We got a Patreon link down below. I'm trying to get a side image depth finder. Any little bit can help. Or you can order a t-shirt from the Teespring account. Anyway guys, let's jump into the video. Let's go catch some crappy. Let's do it. Let's go catch some crappy. What's going on guys? It's about 11.30, just pulled up the big man's first fish of the day. That's a nice chunky one too. Long fish, that's about 11 inches probably. Maybe there's some big ones in here finally instead of all the little ones we've been catching lately. Let's see if we can find another one. That one was a light bite too. It was just a more like a tee. <laughs> a tee. <clears throat> Alright, these fish right here are really, really inactive. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just letting this dude just play. Because he'll go down there and fire that school up. Alright, let's look at him. Yeah, he might keep. I don't know. Definitely not what I'm looking for. Sorry about that, guys. But I was saying, like, if you catch one, let it swim around because you fired a school up. Now, these ain't no big fish, but it's an indication that there's fish here and they weren't biting until I fired it up because that one bit really fast after I caught the other one. He's a keeper. Keeper. He'll make a sandwich. Got him the next cast. Let's see. <coughs> there he is. Ooh, baby. Come here. Oh, yeah. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better fish. There you go, guys. See how I fired them up? Now we're catching them. That first bite, I'm telling y'all, it is just essential. There he is. Not a big one, but keeper. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you gotta hate that. That was actually like a 10 incher. There he is. That's a good one. There we go. Number four. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. So one of the biggest misconceptions I see people doing is they'll stick to one color like oh we got bit on this color we're, we're gonna stick to that color well what I like to do like if I make three or four passes in the same spot I got bit I'll change it up to like a really bright color like right now I got a pink pink on I've had a couple bites on this dot right here but I haven't been able to hook one to fire them up so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and make the same exact cast and try to hook one with a pink Instead, I was using chartreuse normally. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to let the chartreuse sit there because, I mean, you can jig fish like you minnow fishing. Like right now, I got my rod sitting there in the strike zone. And as the boat moves around, because I'm not anchored or anything, 
the jig actually move and you can catch some sometimes it's really hard to hook them that way though but it's it's another tool you can use to put more fish in the boat so i'm gonna make a pass with this pink jig real quick and see if we can get pick one so i'll make the same exact cast that i just made so about when they got here i let out a little bit of line let it go down right there now the, these crappy right here are bigger like it's, it's really hard to get a, a school of you know 12 inch plus fish that are actively biting hard so it, it's really pick and choose like do I want to go catch a bunch of fish, you know, 8 to 10 inches, or do I want to sit here and actually fish and catch the bigger fish? There he is. Now, like, like I was saying, you let them play around just a little bit. You know, that's not a giant, but it's a keeper. So, we caught one on a different color than, than what we normally was chartreuse. That one right there, he's a little nine incher. Number five, if you can count. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put down the paint, I'm gonna reel in the green, and we'll fire it back in there. And see if we can't stick another one. Now that we've, we've pulled one out of the school, Let that line out so that I don't I don't want that jig to pendulum. I want it to go under that dock and then pendulum. There he is right there. Like I said guys, like You've got to fire at school up, especially when it gets cold. Like, if they don't want to eat, you got to make sure to eat. I mean, it's not a big fish, but it'll make a sandwich. All right, I'm going to do the same exact cast as I just showed y'all, just from a different perspective. I'm going to take it right there under the dock. I'm going to let the line go down about a foot, and then I'm just going to pull up. And that's the same exact depth every single cast. As long as you pay attention to that, guys, you'll have a lot more success. Like, if you get bit, you, you need to remember what you were doing. How much line you had out and everything like that i mean it's essential because they feed up so if you're in that right spot you're going to get a bit a whole lot more now don't get me wrong there are times that they'll bite at certain depth and then they'll just quit and you drop it down and they'll bite it so you just got to play around you got to make sure you're checking because, I mean, they'll just suck it up and you won't even know they're there. And when you go to pop it like I do, it'll just be heavy. And then you got to train yourself to go up with it. And there he is right there. That's a little one. Little baby. But same exact cast. Need a new jig. Well, that's number 12 for us, guys. So, one more essential tip, like, that fish just, you know, messed my jig up just, just a little bit, so I had to change the jig. So, another essential tip for you guys, shad-based spray. Just one squirt on it, because all I do every time I change the jig, I mean, human stink, just like fish stink. But if you come home smelling like fish, you had a good day. 
There's number 20, guys. Crappy man jig down his throat. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to become a Patreon, link will be in the description. I think you can do like as low as five bucks even. So it'd be greatly appreciated. Everything will go back to the channel, definitely. But as always, guys, hit the thumbs up for me. It promotes my video. Comment down below if you'd like to see anything extra. And, you know, go out and catch you one. It's good for you. Yee!